We came from the water. It runs through our ancient days, down the long years to this moment, coursing through our lives like the bloodline of kings. A swiftly and more fear than the Dúnedain. He spread his will amongst his servants, and through the long years, sought ever to discover if the heirs of Isildur yet lived, so that he might destroy them, and the last of his greatest enemies would be lost forever. Ryan, go! Please! I will not lose you all this day! You have my thanks, sir. And whatever service I and my family may provide you and yours, we owe you our lives. As I owe you mine. I thank you, lady. You are most welcome, my lord. We cannot stay here. Where were you bound? I do not know, my lord. Orcs burned our village and slew our people. Those who were not killed were scattered, I know not where. Dorlad, my son, 
struck down as he defended us. He would not leave his body for the cruel sport of orcs. Your son shall have a safe resting place, Lady. You will come with us. Arathorn. You know him, father. Yes, or I did when he was but a child. If he's the same man, he is the son of my friend and kinsman, our chieftain, Lord Arador. Isildur's heir. What is it? They're after plunder, it seems. But these are but baubles. It's strange. Orcs seeking gold and jewels in the wild. And to what purpose? You're becoming more like him by the day. Is that what he would have wanted? He would have growled at me for letting you take his place. The wild is no place for my daughter. But I'm still glad I trained you. So am I. They'll bring no news to whoever leads them. Good work, Albron. Now we must bring these three to safety. We go to Tardal, our village. Lord Dehail. My wife, Rivolwen, and my daughter. Gil Rhine. And I am Arathorn. Son of Arador. Indeed. No, no, do not bow. When you come to my father, you may greet him thus. But for now, we must make haste. A jealous heart finds no room for true affection. Though it was standing right behind it. What have I to be jealous about? I saw that look between them, just as you did. Your eyes deceive you. Besides, it has nothing to do with me. Does it not? No. Not with you, dear Bon. And so Arathorn and his rangers led the grieving family north, past the mighty rivers and through the vast forests of Rudar. A land that still enjoyed the watchful eye of the Dunedain and brought them to his father, Lord Arador, in the hidden settlement of Towerdol. Tolo, Melanaguano Ninyao. Let us bestow upon your son the peace and honor he has earned. For I account your loss as my loss, and your grief as my own. But I will not see your bones dishonored, door lad. When the servants of evil try again to drive the Dunedain father into exile. Oh well.
come to ask your forgiveness. Long had I thought your feelings for Arathorn no more than a passing fancy. And that in time, you would turn from them and look around you at last. I did not understand. Until last night. Years I have spent by his side, yet there is a gulf between us that only the flames of a stranger's pyre could reveal. I cannot vie with such beauty and such sorrow. L. Any man would be honored to call you his. I would cause him nothing but grief. Hi, Father. We found these after the attack yesterday. It is strange how such tiny things can bring such immense darkness and change into our lives. Lord Aridor now had much to contemplate. News of orcs assailing other villages came to his ears. Peaceful homesteads, far from help, were likewise menaced. Towerdor filled as many of the Dúnedain fled their homes and sought safety in numbers. And so Arador led his brave rangers in a quest to rid the land of the menace that had ravaged his people. Yet the most trusted of his men would not be at his side. How goes the harvest, my lady? Bountiful, my lord. I had expected a little more for my travels. <laughs> Are you leaving? My father has charged me to seek out the enemy's purpose in the cold mountains in the east. Alone? Yes. A dangerous mission, my lord. Indeed. There was a time when such danger would not have moved me, and every part of my being would happily travel to the end of the world in service of our people. But now? Now a part of me remains here. And that is my heart. My lord. I'm sorry, my lady. I, I did not mean to upset you. I will look to the east and await your safe return. My lady. With a heart full of joy, Arathorn traveled far beyond the fallen cities of Arnor.
while Arathorn made his lonely way into the cold mountains, Gilrein would await his homecoming in the fading summer of the west, straying at whiles deep into the forest to watch for his safe return. Gilrein! I will not go far! Amen hikarhen. Istogofen naidartha. He angwain. Dan uben haila. My heart forbodes Arathorn will wear Barahir's ring sooner than expected. Even so, I do not think he will long lead the Dunadain once it rests upon his hand. Then do not stand in their way, dear Hyle. For if these two wed soon, they yet may be hope born for our people. But if they do not, it may be in this gathering darkness that the Dunadain fall at last, never to rise again. And let them have what happiness they may. Time to increase our numbers. It was a mistake to attack the ghost men out of the darkness. Check now. I do not make mistakes. I go now to report your failure to Sauron at Dolkultor. Increase your numbers if you must. But send out your spies. When I return, I want to know where he is! What is it? I smell man flesh. That's impossible. Can't you smell it? should not come this far into the forest alone. I know. Shh. I... Arathorn. Rangers, will you not go to them? They'll find us soon enough. So, I must hurry, or miss my chance. For what? I 
I hope they take their time. Good Arapon. I train them too well. My lord. I wandered too far from the village, but your captain found me. I am at your service, my lord. I shall always be at yours. Escort the Lady Gilrine back to the village. With a burning flame that does not abate. A light as brilliant and piercing as Arendel's star. You have been in love. Uh, I have heard it talked of. So you were in love? I am to be wed. Or I hope to be. And soon, if fortune is with me. They are new and last in me. Your heart should be filled with joy, Arathorn. Oh, it is. Yet I fear that Lord Dechal will not willingly give his blessing. Gilrain is like you, not yet of age. I may not have known love. But I do know that when the heart would command the tongue, no man should stand in the way. If you delay, you may find that what should have been spoken is forever locked in your heart and regret your only companion. Your words are wise. Still. The seasons are changing. Maybe it'll bring a change to his heart too. If it changes with the seasons, it can only grow colder. <laughs> Just hold your ground and speak your heart. Thank you. You're a good friend to me. I would lay down my very life for you. And I for you. My Gavenin, <laughs> I am glad you're safe, my son. You also, father. Halbron tells me that your campaign against the orcs has been a success. Their numbers are indeed few now. They should not trouble us for some time. Yet your mind is not at ease. I now know what they're after, and that they do not act alone. They're the servants of Sauron. He seeks the ring of Barahir. Father, they're hunting for you. It is as I feared, then. I beg you to hide the ring. Do not wear it. No, but it will lead him straight to you. Let Sauron send all the armies in this world against us. I will not hide from who I am while I have a breath in my body and a sword in my hand. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive, my son. You have been of great service to me and the Dunedain. You are a true heir of kings. Come now. Do not be troubled. <laughs> Your mother used to remind me that the people looked upon us for guidance, that we had to stand fast no matter what. Perhaps um, one day you will find someone with as much wisdom and beauty to counsel you. Sevigiri alunin, inin, no ein da helwid, an ogi, a phantom estelle. I go now to Rivendell, where Elrond half elven awaits me. When I return with his good counsel, then perhaps we shall have a wedding. Good luck with Diha.
Lord Yechael. Good morning. Through the long winter months, the warmth in Arathorn's heart was only held at bay by his fear of failing his most important task. Just hold your ground and speak your heart. Lord Dihail, I've come to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I owe you my life, son of Arador, but I do not owe you my daughter. But I love her, my lord. I fear deeply the shadow you cast on my house is ill as heir. The attention you show my daughter is unwelcome. By you, not by her. Yes, therefore it cannot be ignored. I hope for Gilrain's sake, your father's blood flows through your veins. If you fail your people, you will have only the Dunedain to answer to. If you fail her, it is me to whom you'll answer. Was that a yes? And when winter had withdrawn its cold fingers from the land and passed into bright and early spring, Arathorn, son of Aridor, and the Lady Gilrain were wed in happiness. After only a year of joy, a dark shadow crept back into their lives. Arador, son of Argoni, lord of the Dunedain, found himself in a shallow dell, amid the chill, blinding vapors of the cold fells.
Father. Father. It's but a dream, a dream. Oh, get rain. I would that it were. What hope is there for our people? The line of the kings hangs by a thread. I fear it's going to find its bitter end in me. Arathorn, where is your joy? Where is your hope? I will not despair. Nor would I have you do so. Arathorn, look at me. Fear not tomorrow, for it is not ours to know or to command. And do not fear that the royal house has reached its end. It is alive. In you. And in me. There is my hope. So a year after the loss of his father, on the first day of the third month, Arathorn and the Dúnedain welcomed into the world new hope. You have a son, my lord. We will name him Aragorn. King Livala. That he shall have. And on his breast I see a green stone. And from that his true name shall come, and his chief renown, for he shall be a healer and a renewer. Behold, Aragorn, son of Arathorn, lord of the Dúnedain, scion of Elendil of Númenor, the heir of Isildur, Hail Aragorn! Hail Aragorn! By the valor of the Lord and his rangers, the Dúnedain had a measure of peace, and the child Aragorn grew swiftly and happily. Seems but yesterday that your son Halbarad was Aragorn's age. It does indeed, my lord. I imagine it will seem the same, Evelyn, when our son is a man. As it will, my lady. How quickly they grow. How much they eat to get there if there's anything left. <laughs> field in the name of the king. The Lords Eladan and Elrahir of Rivendell arrived unlooked for, and wished to speak with us at once. Aladol, Melin, what brings you to us this night? And how fares your father, Lord Elrond, and the Lady Arwen? Ada asalvin my hilnin. Elrond hoth elvin menonsi. In glamoth to in the farora hun no tawador. Ni huano dinan over in idrinio. Ahigwaya pembost, ne able for aiderine dunadain. O Chairon Elu, Pithras at Alithia and the Aged in Lee. To Rivendell, 
For this reason, our father sends grave counsel. What is this counsel? He urges you to send your wife and son to Imla just for safekeeping. And for you, Arathorn, to lead the Dúnedain by secret ways to other lands and flee this encroaching danger. It is late, my lords. We will speak further in the morning. Let us find you somewhere to rest. Elrond Half-Elven is wise. He sees much that is hidden or has yet to come to pass. I will consider his words and take thought for my people. Let your decision be not long delayed. With every hour that passes, peril draws closer. Henion. Finver. Hirni. Finver. Do not say it. I will not be parted from you. Yet it is wise counsel. If danger closes in on us once again, you and Aragorn must be protected. All the chieftains of the Dúnedain have been fostered for a time in Elrond's halls. I myself spent years there as a child. I will not leave you! I will not! Alberon saw you leaving. Something I should have done a long time ago. Without goodbye? Ever since your father's death, I made it my duty to look out for you. I owed it to him for his years of service and his friendship. When you wanted to take his place, I alone supported you. For ten years you've been by my side. Yet now, when I need you most, you would leave me. You need eyes and ears in distant lands, and the ranger post to Hithlin is unmanned. Hithlin? But it is so far. I release you from your duty. I will burden you no more. You have never been a burden. Elgarain, you have only ever been a friend. You're like a sister to me. You have a family. A wife and son who need you. Protect them. Algorand. Do not bid me stay. Please. I will not hold you here if you wish to leave. But I do not understand. And for that reason, I cannot explain. Forgive me. Lord Arathorn, your counsel is needed. Arathorn, the enemy is on the move. Safe journey, my friend. My lord, the orcs are on the move. Lord Arri, he bid me to say this. The decision has been made for you. Call my captains to me. War is at hand. Nathal! Mega venen, Melanin. Odalilu. But while the Lord of the Dunedain and the sons of Elrond laid their plans, the orcs, by stealth and cunning, were nearer to the village than even Lord Elrond had foreseen. 
Did you not forget something? What would I have forgotten? To tell me you were leaving. Lord Arathorn needs our help, yet. Whether he rides to Rivendale, or leads the Dunedain to safety elsewhere, you will not stay. I cannot. I see that now. I go to free my heart of him. Would you not welcome such news? Indeed I would. For you are ever in my thoughts. Did you never know or guess this? You've always been kind to me. Kind? No, Helgadain. I love you. I have done for years. When you knew I loved another, why? Because in time, I knew you would be wise enough to let him go. And now I have. Only to run from me. L. Do not run. I will. Elgarain, flee! You cannot hold him off alone! Uh, hurry! Warn the village! You must warn them! The Duna died. Go! We will see each other again! No! We shall not wait for the orcs to make their advance. We will evacuate the villages, but we will bring war to them in the wilds, wherever they may be. And let the servants of evil beware. Our enemies are upon us!
He's the one! Behold your fate! Your house has ended! The Dúnedain prevailed, but a heavy price was paid for their victory. Forgive me. For what? For my envy. Because he chose you. Elgarin! <sighs> I thought I... Shh. Save your strength, my friend. I failed you. No. No, you did not. My family is safe because of you. Your father would be so proud. I found my heart today. And now it is lost. He was leaving with you.
Elgarain? Elgarain. How many more must fall? How many? Too long, the servants of evil have ravaged our people, and this once proud kingdom of Arnor. Men of the West. The shadow grows longer, and his cruel arm reaches ever toward us. But we, we cannot lose hope. A time will come when the Dúnedain regain their strength and banish evil from these lands forever. Until then, we have a duty to safeguard our people at all cost. So, arise! Dunedain, remember who you are. Let our enemies once again flee before us, and let no orc leave this forest alive. <laughs> his people in a great and valiant onslaught, and the servants of the enemy quailed.
now the line of kings and <laughs> the line is not broken there is still hope <laughs> They will return, Liu Ring. They will. And the Lady of the Dunedain bid farewell to her kin and to all her people. For to protect the last children of Numenor, she bid Halbaran disband Tawadol and the Dunedain to find safety in small secret settlements in the depths of the forests of Rudar. Isildur was brought to Rivendell for his fostering and safekeeping. And that is how you will come here to Master Elrond's house, little one. I will not for many long years call you Aragorn, for your name must be forgotten, lest the enemy learn you live, and all we fought for is lost. For the last time, then, you are Aragorn, son of Arathorn, chieftain of the Dunedain and the heir of Isildur. But for now, Estelle, you are simply our hope. Only 
rippling of water, echoing of conversations gone, carried like a secret. 